I'll tell you, a lot is happening, and it's fast. Boom, 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 boom. I know. It's like we did all this work in August and September, and now it's coming out. Wow. So our NRK piece, the orgasm heard around the world, <laughs> the first one ever yeah, televised. Yeah, and you, you know what? I, that isn't the whole point of the issue. The issue was it was the first vulva. I know. That occupied a full screen. Women don't understand that that is the most important aspect of female sexual liberation. It's the first step. It That's really the, first, is the step, first step, is allowing the vulva to exist visually on television. Anyway, it's brilliant that this happened. Know. Absolutely. And so it's running in Norway. Next will be Denmark, then France, Germany. England. And then the UK. <laughs> so well, once, once the UK gets it, it comes here. That's what I'm thinking. So it's like you're kind of getting ready for the wave. Uh, we just caught it. <laughs> <laughs> We're up. <laughs> now we got to swim back out and get, get, get the next outside wave. And what's interesting is they used my first orgasm. And my first orgasm was my typical tension orgasm. But, and, I'm, and I have to say that it's, it is definitely the most common one. So it's not Kind of tense up a little and you're moving and you're feeling it, but my muscles get all tense. Yeah, but you're using your mus musculature rather than letting the sex energy flow. That was my second orgasm. That's the one I wanted. It was a bad camera angle, but describe what, what, what happened. Okay, so, it was pretty yes. cool. So, um, and it's, it, it's, it, it's, when you think about it, it's amazing that, we, that we've never worked together. I know. Everyone thinks we had sessions together, but we never did it. No, and never. it's been three years. And it's we thought kind of about stupid. it. I think we talked about it, but we never got around to it. Because the minute we got connected and the website went up. We were just working, working, working. It's nonstop around the clock here. And it's, but it's so exciting because we definitely have a winning combination. So after my tension orgasm, I could feel your energy next to me. You were kind of like, ah, uh, you're not done. <laughs> like that's not it. And you got between my legs with the, the vaginal barbell and you're pulling it in and this pulling is, it out. This is part of my process with women. I want to yeah. also show them vaginal penetration. Different strokes. Be yes. Like how it feels. And the point of doing this is so that a woman can learn to have clitoral stimulation and vaginal penetration at the same time. At the same and I time. like it when it's angled up, like you're taking the barbell and going towards the vulva, towards the clitoris. Yeah, it's up towards the uh, urinary tract, which is where the, uh, the little sponge is. Yeah, so every time I would tense up, she would put her hand on my belly and be like, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, and then I, and then I, let it go. Then she start to come up again. And, and it, say, let it go. Let it go. What, about four times? Four times. Yeah. And, and then, then you and then and then you can see the body. The body doesn't have to take over. Yes. The sex energy takes over. So all of a sudden I just I relax and then this wave of orgasm came through my whole body and I had this huge <laughs> orgasm. Yes. Seeing that kind of authentic sexuality and then the change from the tension orgasm to the full body kind of relaxed orgasm and really it's create. not exactly relaxed so you've been building it's okay to build but the point is not to think that your musculature will <laughs> make you orgasm it's going to get you there you get enough of a head of steam going then you can you can lay back catch that it's like you can when you catch, catch the, the wave, wave you're not click kick, kicking your little foot no no <laughs> you're going with it you're hanging on and so anyway it's what an experience, i got to tell you. What and, an experience. And we had our intern, who's from Copenhagen, interpret the last segment when uh, Johanna, the star... Yeah, she's holding up the little... She's holding the virus, and then she uses it, and she tries to have an orgasm, and she doesn't have an orgasm. But she says how she loves her vulva now, but you looking at her and saying she had beautiful rose petals. Well, this is the first step, isn't it, for a woman to appreciate her vulva? In the orgasm And process, And what did she yeah. said she practice for 40 minutes or an hour or whatever and nothing happened you don't spend the first 21 years of your life being non-sexual and expect your first mm -hmm. masturbation session to happen to give you an or to have an orgasm you it's, have to work which, at it yeah it's you have just, to build the energy it's like uh, it's like learning a dance step it's like anything else in life. anything else so if she stays with it she'll get her orgasm and then that will be happy days for her so just for all of the young women out in the world who are learning about orgasm it will not happen overnight think of yourself as an artist or a dancer learn the step practice the steps and learn the moves and give yourself time to master them it's an art form